Welcome from the Focus Gaming News Media booth to Miller Slab, who is the Chief Sales Officer at Atlas AIC, a B2B provider of the next generation platform for gaming operators. It's so good to see you again. Thank you for the invitation. It's very good that I'm here and I'm happy to see you guys as well. It's great to catch up at these amazing events. And we're going to come to the event in just a second. But before we get there, it's the end of the year. Sigma 23 at the end of a big, big year, and first of all, before we talk about anything else, how has your year been? Has it been a good year for you? Yeah, it's been a good year. It's been a lot of internal changes, uh, a lot of uh, changing the, the appearance uh, internally in the company, like different people, but we still keep the stability of the product. We invest a lot into it. So I think it was tough, but very good year for us. Well, it's also, uh, as I've been researching you, it's been tough because you've also been emerging into new markets. You've been Correct. branching out and looking at new things. Mainly, LATAM is the, the big thing, it's Brazil. Tell me all about this, because that's a bold move. You, you know, iGaming is changing, the platforms are changing, the, the, the world of iGaming is literally changing, and it's obviously changing for you. So what's the deal? I'll tell you. So LATAM is still our biggest place where like we see Atlas everywhere. Uh, we want to expand and get out of there. Uh, we definitely we have some deals which are ongoing in Africa now. We want to go in Asia and most probably with a partnership with the casino providers there. Uh, we're trying to footprint Europe. We are about very soon to get a Romania license. So it's something which uh, most probably will expand into the 2024 because the year is approaching to its end. And what else? Like, we want to go in South Africa as well. So we have active talks with people who are based there. Uh, people who also have uh, land-based properties uh, are very, very much welcome to talk to us as well. Because we think that we can provide the online solution and then we also have the retail solution. So I think it can be a very good deal for both sides. Well, you see, now I've been talking to people like yourself in this industry for a long time. And as new territories and new markets emerge and, and accessibility to those markets allow people to do like what you're doing right now. Um, I'm always curious to find out which of the markets are the easiest and which are the most challenging and which are the most rewarding because I, can't, I can only imagine that every single different market requires a different approach. I think there is no easy market to footprint into it. Uh, I think you, you treat them separately. Like it, it depends on the target group of the people, on the players on the other end, on the people who are going to the shops, people who are like, depends on their even, even mental and cult cultural approach towards gambling. But I don't think there is an easy market to enter. Like you still have to do a lot of work. You have to, you should have good connections, talk to a lot of people and of course, present yourself in the best way and make sure that you point out your strengths you, you tell them why they have to choose you, why, what's different compared to what you're presenting as a business to the rest, like the industry is huge nowadays. Like you, you have to pop up with something new. You have to invest into something new in order to be the most wanted and selected partner for their business. But even if you're looking at something like Europe, which is a really well matured market it's still not an easy market to get into it's still not easy there are a lot of players uh, and when i say players i mean a lot of platform providers even uh, and it's a landscape which it's still moving but it's almost set it's very hard to plug in something new because you already have it set all the big players are there the platform providers they expand their business of what they started so you really have to to have to be very like you have to show up something new. You, you have to pop up in a way that being, they like you. And of course, you should have a very strong product and presence. Well, let's bring this right back to, to Atlas AIC then, because as you mentioned, there's a, a knowledge of the market and understanding of the market. But then for someone like yourself, you also mentioned about doing new things to be able to identify and build relationships with clients in these markets. So take a moment, explain to me exactly what you do and how you find these new things and these new ways of building relationships. I, I think the most part of it is about the right networking to have. And uh, this is something that you build with the years, like being into the industry and knowing the right people. Because 
we are all humans in the end of the day. If you have a business and a good, good friendship with someone, then you need to understand what his product can give you and then how a friendship can be also tied up well with the business relationship. Uh, and I think that's the most important part, like being human to human. Uh, and then, of course, you have to bring your technology in your pocket, show up the technology solution that you have and make them make them understand it and see how you can fix and help fix people's problems on the other end because we we all want to help each other in the end i don't want somebody to wake me up at 2 a.m in the morning because something is not working so we all try to make our lives better and run our businesses in a better way you see i love this relationship building that i've it's not the first time i've heard it today and it just sounds like it's a new understanding of the industry or a refreshing understanding of the industry. But let's come back to the, to the product. Let's come back to Atlas IAC again, because I'm really gonna dig down a little bit deeper to find out what the product differentiation is. So what, so you've got these beautiful relationships with clients, you've got this great relationship, there's friendships as you mentioned, but what is it about the product that is different? Uh I'll, I'll, I'll open a bit the curtain, okay? So what Atlas AC is different from the rest of the people in this industry is the automation of the sports book. So we're, trying, we're investing a lot and we're trying to keep it very much automated to a level where, where you set up something and then it starts to work for you. We have a very specific templates where you can, uh, in the beginning of the operations, you just set them up. You need, of course, a bit of a time to uh, understand what's the culture on the other end of the player, of the end user, and then what your operator wants to achieve. So you need a bit of a monitoring, let's say for a month or two, then you set up the templates in a way that they work for your business and you, do, you don't touch them. You, 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 have, you have actually free people which you can ask them to put their efforts into developing something else instead of sitting and monitoring like screens and what's going on how much the margin of something is, do, you, do I want to change it for the second half of it, do I need to be physically behind the computer and click on something, or I have my template which is loaded and it's working. So that's one part of the differentiation. Uh, the other one is uh, we do also have a very good retail product. Uh, the software is something that uh, is very similar to the, to the online software but it's adopted to, to the retail solution and the retail need of uh, the gambling sector. So what we are planning to also do in 2024, we want to put more, more light on the retail solution. We want to uh, have a good relationship with uh, online based uh, uh, people and properties where we can also put the solution being there and we present Atlas also as a retail uh, provider on top of the online gambling that we do. You see, you mentioned 2024, so I have to delve into that as well. You've just mentioned the retail products. What else is on the cards for Atlas IAC in 2024? This is a big question, uh, and this is why we're all here at Sigma yeah, 20. It's, it's a big question. Uh, I guess I, I can give you a bit of a detail, but the biggest part was probably we'll do it in the end of the year or maybe in the beginning of 2024. But yeah, retail is one of the biggest things Then uh, we also want to expand as much as we can LATAM. Uh, we have huge presence there now, but we want to, to see how we can exhaust this market and see what else we can take out of it. How we can get more connections and help more to the people there, get more contractual agreements. Then we want to go Asia. Definitely. Uh, we are actively talking to people who do have casino games there, so we want to partner with them. Uh, it's a market where it's, uh, to be honest, it's not very easy to footprint. Uh, it's, a, you know, it's different commercial terms. It's a different mentality of the players. So the, the market is fluid of uh, providers. So in order to get a portion out of it and to be part of this amazing uh, thing there, which they have, uh, it's, it's not very easy to be done. Uh, then what else? So uh, we want to expand Europe, definitely. We, we are getting a very soon Romania license. So Romania Balkans will be also a place where you'll be able to see more and more apples. Now I'm going to come back to LATAM just for a second because I okay. know that, that Brazil is on the cards. I yeah. mean, is it all of LATAM or is it real? There's a real no, focus it's, on it's Brazil. it's all of the LATAM. Like we have presence in LATAM, in Peru, in Argentina. 
So uh, we, we are not limited to only Brazil, definitely. So all of the LAFA. Now I have a, a sneaky suspicion that there's some other things happening in 2024 as well. Yeah, there are internally. <laughs> I, I mentioned to you before the talk. Uh, there are a lot of internal work which is happening. It's also brand related and it's also product related. So uh, there will be exciting things. Uh, so we need to keep an eye on you guys. Yeah, definitely. That's it. That's yeah. the big tip yeah. for 2024. And I promise we talk again and I'll get you more details. Let's do that. I'm okay. going to push for that. Yeah. So good. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. here on Focus Gaming News. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.